Hi, my name is John Sayer, and I'm here today at Zoomers RV to give you a quick walk around on one of the top selling brands in the country, Salem. Uh, today we're spe specifically going to look at a, a model called the 29B Bud. The 29B Bud is actually a first ever in the sense that this is bringing to the customers two queens, bunks, and a place where kids can sit, eat, play, uh, and also a little bit of a, a toy hauler also as far as lots of storage space. So uh, today I have the pleasure of introducing you to the 29B Bud. So on the exterior, Salem is a top selling brand because we do a lot of things that I call separators, things different from the rest of the industry. But we also bring a much higher level to the rest of the coach. And what I mean by that, at this price point, to bring you a power tongue jack with a light, uh, to bring you a 30 pound LP bottle front, uh, to bring you a battery disconnect on the front standard on this model, ring grade, um, is very rare. And then when you really get into this model and start breaking it down, you'll see solar prep. And this will come in later uh, when we go over the 12 volt refrigerator on the inside. And even with the bigger baggage door on the door side with no clips, it's all magnets. So very easy to operate for your family. And then what I wanna focus on now is actually our stabilization system. Now this is a first ever on a travel trailer. And really what these are, are 5,000 pound 30 inch arm jacks with a JT strong arm, which is that big yellow bar. And what these really do is you have four 5,000 pound jacks. So you do the math, that's 20,000 pounds of lifting capabilities. And this thing dry weights is 7,400 pounds. So it's way more than what's needed. But when kids are running around on the inside or when the kids are asleep, and you want to walk around the coach and you don't want to wake them up to shake the coach, this gives you the best stability in the game uh, with these 30 inch arms. So this will completely lift the unit off the ground, but we still classify it as a stabilizer. And then when you lock in that yellow bar, it really creates this connective web underneath the unit, which just stops all the rocking or if it's windy outside, uh, which just gives you a better camping experience overall, as opposed to shaking. But we do JT strong arms as a standard and you get, you get four of them around the whole coach with four 5,000 pound jacks. Now, another standard at this price point that isn't with everybody is our power awning. So we also give you a power awning as opposed to a manual awning that you manually have to pull out and just touch a button on this. And it's very easy to adjust and tilt uh, for your preference. The other thing on the outside is we actually give you a 30 inch wide residential doorway as opposed to say a 26 inch wide. So groceries. Uh, laundry baskets, things like that. This is gonna be much easier to get in. And if you'll notice, this door actually has a friction hinge. So it'll sustain up to 20 mile an hour gusts of wind. You don't have to actually latch it back, but we do put a bumper pad back here in case somebody's trying to be very strong and throw it open. And then this year, and I'm sure you've seen this on a few other products, but we were one of the first to go to their new step. And this is the Moride Solid Step. The neat thing about the Moride is one, it's very easy to adjust. You just push in the buttons and it, it literally just goes in. And when you're down here, you just pull it out and it locks into place. The other neat thing with this step is it has a much larger top landing area. So if the kids are coming out in a hurry, they're much more likely to catch this. And then the other really neat thing on this step that I'll show you is that if it's ever up and you're close to something, it actually has these pins that you can remove the whole step and still get in the coach if you're too close for the step to come down. But the biggest thing is this really connects with the JT strong arm stabilization system. And as opposed to having a free floating step that you can shake the whole coach when you step on it, this puts all the weight to the ground and it really causes less disruption on the inside. Now, another neat thing just on this model specifically is our outside camp kitchen. And you'll notice it's actually underneath the awning on the door side where most of your activity happens. But we end up giving you a griddle, uh, which is great for cooking, a little mini refrigerator, for, which is great for your beverages. And then we also give you a spray port. And really the benefit of this to the customer is that it keeps a lot of the activity outside. The game when you go camping is always, how do you keep mama's coach clean? Um, and we're trying to give the customer everything that they can to actually keep the coach clean. And some other things you'll notice is we actually have TV bathroom here if you wanna do an outside television spot. We also give you two marine grade boat speakers on the outside with an outlet here. And your whole door side is really lit with this huge LED uh, awning light on the door side to just give you this great presentation on the door side. And one other thing that I feel Salem stands out with is really our window game. And what I mean by that is 
you're looking on the door side. A lot of these bunk houses have kitchens on the door side, but if you think about it, most of the activity is on your door side. That's where you're watching your children. So to give a 48 inch window view panoramic so you can actually see the kids and what's going on outside if you're stuck in the kitchen doing something, uh, it really brings an added benefit to that consumer with children. Um, and then the last thing, which this is a big separator for us, is actually our underbelly system. We call it accessibility. So the standard underbelly is a corrugated underbelly that's actually stretched, uh, and it's just a one piece to go on the coach. The difficulty with that is it's not necessarily the easiest in the world to repair. You have to cut it, patch it, or if you unscrew it, it loses some of that stretch. Uh, underneath here, we actually, with accessibility, we're the first ones. Now, a much higher end fifth wheel was using this system. We're the first ones to ever bring it to a travel trail. And what you'll notice underneath here are these four foot sections. And these are actually panels, molded panels. And this is a heated underbelly. Um, and every four feet, you actually have a screw line. So service guys all over the country, they'll come up to me uh, when I go to their lots and they'll say, thank you so much for coming up with a better system. So every four feet, you can unscrew, you can work on the coach if you need to. Uh, and it's honestly a much more durable system if you ever even have debris or anything like that hitting the bottom of it. Um, so it's, it's something that we brought into this, this segment and uh, we're really, really proud of it. So I think that the customer will like it, but uh, let's take a moment and go on inside and check out some of our separators. Uh, Twenty-nine V button. Um, I, I'm really excited about this. So, one of the things that we've really our brainchild and we brought to the industry is this new furniture arrangement. And one of our goals last year was to really focus on our slide out arrangement in general and say, how can we change the industry a bit? How can we move the needle? The last big uh, adjustment our industry seen as far as furniture was really the U-shaped booth. Um, to be honest, at this price point. Um, which now you wouldn't build a bunkhouse without a U-shaped booth. And that was around 2009. Um, it was time that we created something new for the customers. Now, one of the negatives of bunks are that you typically, I have three children, but we don't have enough room to sit while we are in here because you always have your kitchen over here and then the bunkhouse has your seating arrangement over here. So one of the neat things, instead of having the family separated in two different spots, uh, you can actually have more of your family together. And what you're looking at right now is a, a J lounge arrangement, and we call this the Versa Lounge. So the Versa Lounge has the ability to give you this much bigger area to seat more of your family together. Or if it's time, time to eat, it's as simple as pulling this out, kind of like that little red wagon you had as a kid, and you just put it in there, and now, you transform that 96 inch, eight foot long chase lounge sofa into a huge U-shaped booth that your family can sit around when it's time to eat. So you really have the availability of both arrangements. The other neat thing here that happens with this is this actually comes out and this whole thing makes into a 12 foot bed. So for you customers out there that have 12 foot tall children, there is hope still, and we actually have an arrangement for you. Um, but that's just really the beginning of the Versa Lounge and everything that it does. So one, it gets the family together. It gives us a ton of sleeping. But the other really neat thing that we up the game with is underneath, you'll notice more storage inside. So what's that mean? We actually give you these stow and go storage bins. So these are dry food approved, stackable storage bins. And the neat thing is with my kids, it feels like I'm packing for them. And there's a saying out there, teach a man how to fish feed them for a day, teach them, or give a man a fish, feed them for a day, or teach a man a fish, feed them for a life. So with my kids, we give them one of these in each one of their rooms. They then have the responsibility of putting all their clothes, the stuff that they want to go camping with, and they have their own tote. So this unit right here, the 29 d bud specifically, you actually get 27 cubic foot of stow and go storage. These are dry food approved, stackable storage vents. All come with the coach. So you get three underneath here. You get one underneath each side of the U-shaped dinette that you'll see here. And then you also get actually two more back here in the kids' bunk room as well. And all these, stows, all these totes come with it. And we call this stow and go storage 
And it's just, if you've ever watched somebody unpack their used unit, it's a little painful to watch all the stuff that you accumulate over the years. This makes that job much easier um, for the customer and really a, a simple but very, very effective idea. So stow and go storage, another separator that Salem does. Um, you know, the other thing while I'm in the slide out, I might as well tell you about our window package. So we call this the panoramic window package. You have huge windows, as big as we can possibly fit in this whole slide out. The two end windows actually open so it pulls a cross breeze through here. But I don't know if you got the memo, but camping is actually about being in the outdoors, seeing the outside. And it's hard looking in these things nowadays to realize what actually brought us here. So panoramic window package. You have these cloth blackout roller shades, which these are white on the back, so they deflect heat. And if you want privacy, they give you the full privacy that you would want residentially. But if you don't, and you actually want the natural light in here, you just pull that down, it rolls right up for you, and you get great views and you feel uh, the purpose of camping, like you're outdoors again. Um, we also do little details. There's an accent light, so you can turn off all the lights in here if it's, say, movie night or something and have indirect lighting on the inside. That's a high-end home feature that we wanted to bring to our customers. Um, and then when you come into the kitchen area, and I'll, I'll briefly stop in here, we have some neat stuff. So already went over the huge window. We have great countertop space with this glass stove top cover. We're very insistent that we put four outlets in the kitchen. We just feel like two's not enough. Uh, we were one of the very first brands ever to actually give a high-rise spring faucet, which is more of a residential feature in our price point. And that's one thing to keep in mind, guys, is that this price point is, is very sharp. Um, and because of our volume, we are able to give you more value for less dollar. And that's really one of the keys to our success. And then you look over here and you're like, I'm used to seeing a six cubic foot refrigerator. What's this thing? This thing's 11 cubic feet. It's a 12 volt refrigerator. So this thing reaches full cold temperature within 45 minutes. Uh, my old gas electric refrigerator, I had to plug in the night before, and I was lucky if it was cold the next day. Um, the neat thing is, is that solar prep on the outside with a 120 watt solar panel and two batteries on this coach, this refrigerator actually goes perpetual, meaning you don't need to be plugged in. So if you're going to be dry camping or doing something like that, you're completely covered with this. Uh, and it's, it's green, and it's way more efficient than uh, the refrigerators of the past. And then a pantry. I mean, this is a very deep, large pantry. And we just go back to storage, storage, storage. Uh, the more storage you can give the consumer, the better off you'll be. And then here's just a, another little neat thing. But this is actually a, a drawer set up here. We call this, uh, yeah, we, we call this actually the easy drawer system. But we cover it up with a big face cabinet door. And then we always give you a spot for a trash can. So it's... It's odd, but if you don't look for a spot for a trash can, you'd be surprised on how many brands don't actually give you a spot for the trash can, so you don't have to put it out in your main living area. Um, but back here, this is really the key uh, to this floor plan beyond the Versa Lounge. So when we created this, this is a first ever. One thing that we were focused on is a 40-inch opening, more of an open con floor plan concept. But back here, this is a ton of space. There's no slide out back here. Uh, this whole unit only actually has one slide. That's how we get to the 7,400 pounds drive. But you have two L bunks up on the top for great sleeping up here. You have actually a sofa here, which TV hookups would go over here. And then we call this the Versa door. But this door actually opens. So if you wanted to put bicycles, uh, more totes back here, it really gives you a versatile setup for extra additional storage uh, when you're traveling down the road. Now, the neat thing is you're not seeing this thing so these are strutted, so you just have to start them, and then it takes it up the rest of the way. And then here's the other neat thing that this does, which is folds out into a two queen model. So one thing I've learned, as I now have a 19 year old son at home, is the kids continue to grow and their needs continue to change and adapt. And with our industry, we need to adapt. So we were building campers that were good for a, a four-year stint in the customer's life. This really can adapt to the future. I mean, uh, another adult couple. This is the same size queen that's actually in the front of the coach. Uh, you get two additional bunks, so a whole other family could really stay back here. And what we thought is 
there's two queens, but they don't have the bunks. And we thought, man, there's got to be a way to give the customers two queens and in addition have the bunks. And if you want to fold it out of the way, you can get it out of the way so you get that additional space. But you guys are seeing it for the first time ever, 29B bun. Um, this is why we call the V actually doesn't stand for a V front, it stands for Versa, versatility. And uh, really neat setup, just get everything out of the way. You have a huge queen bed. You have a pocket door here for complete separation. So if you put the kids to bed, you can actually still use the main living area. Um, and then, I'm getting long-winded, but I, I got to show you the bedroom and bathroom. And entertainment right here, fireplace has a 5,000 BTU furnace. Actually, you have a complete sound bar with Bluetooth that hooks up to your outside speakers. Um, I'll show you the, the bathroom. And one thing, we're seeing a lot less demand for tubs and a lot more demand for stand-up showers. So when you look in here, this is a bunkhouse, but it does have that corner radius shower that gives you more of an adult feel. And will be sufficient for your kids at older ages as well. Um, <clears throat> and you have a little bit of storage in the bathroom also. And then I will show you the front bedroom and the things that make us unique up here. Right now I show it in the up setting. So you have a queen bed up in the front. And this is one of our other ideas that we, we came up with. And we, this is stow and go, but we really wanted to figure out a way to utilize and create a little dresser system underneath the door with this extra space. So you get four cubic foot of stow and go st storage. So socks, undergarments, clothing. Uh, and then we actually build a shelf here for a shoe nook. So you have a place that you don't have to trip over your shoes when you get out of bed in the morning and you can sort all your shoes. And this is strutted up, will stand up and then comes down and then you have the queen bed. Another thing that we do differently than others is we actually give you this open area and what we call this is CPAP prep. We found that there are a lot of customers that actually need CPAP machines. So we give you a 110 outlet in here. You can run your CPAP th hose through there and if you don't even have a CPAP machine you can still use that for your phone um, or an alarm clock. And then we give you the overhead cabinet but that's not enough storage. I feel like we need more. What's this over here? Oh wow, we actually have a full closet uh, with shelves in a bunkhouse bedroom, which is super rare. It's always like I have kids, but I have to sacrifice storage because I have kids. I have to sacrifice seating. Well, we're here to tell you that you don't have to sacrifice anything. You can have the best of both worlds. And that is honestly 29 V-Bud. Uh, this was RV of the year last year, RV News. And uh, really happy to show you guys the 29 V-Bud. Come on in here to Zoomers and, and see if you can get one in time for the camping season. Have a great one, guys.